Hello fellow YouTubers, my name is Terry Elizabeth Ellington. If you are new here, hit the subscription button. If you are not, then welcome back. Today I am doing a fall, autumn, orangey kind of feel look. I haven't done my hair today because this is after work hair. If you want to see how to get this look and you want to achieve this look, then please keep watching. Also head over to my Terry E. Ellington because I've uploaded some photos of the makeup that I have done in the last week. I am giving away a free be go hit it go check it out anyway guys so keep watching this video the reason why i'm showing you this before and then after well this is the after before the before the before because i wanted to kind of greet you guys looking okay and not the way i'm gonna look without makeup I'm pretty pale. Anyway guys, so keep watching if you want to achieve this look. I hope you guys have a lovely week and so yeah, I guess you'll see me without makeup in a second. So yeah. The first thing that I'm going to start with is the NYX HD foundation. I'm going to then take my beauty blender, well I would, I would say new but I've used it quite a lot and I'm just going to dab it on my face. Excuse the hands as well, I work with animals and I have cuts and scars and all sorts on my hands because of it. So when I put fake tan on and I wash my hands a lot, the fake tan sticks. So I've done half of my face, I'm now doing my forehead. I really really like this foundation because I think it does give good, good coverage. The only thing is, I feel like you have to use a lot of it. Now I have done my full face, I am then moving on to the Revolution Makeup Pro HD to do my contouring. So I'm going to do under my eyes and along my cheekbones. I'm then going to do the other side. My face looks pretty red at the moment. I don't know why, it just, it just is at the moment. And then I'm gonna do a long at the top and over my eyebrow. And then I'm gonna do along my nose. I'm then going to take my beauty blender and blend that all in. I think we are the first one we're, we're blending in. It's like. I'm then moving on to the other side. So that is that done. Next I'm taking the Technique Brow Gel and I'm just going to apply that onto my eyebrows. I really like using this because I feel like it gives more of a natural, a natural look to the eyebrows. I then take my small angle brush and I use the NYX Tame and Frame. So I'm going to take this and just go under my eyebrow Just doing soft strokes along on top I'm then going to take this small brush and use a really really light shade and go underneath To rule out any hair, like darker hairs or you know if, the, if some of the tame and frame has is, is gone a bit too far down like that and then take the darker shade and just go on top and this shapes it to the way that I like Okay, so I finished both of my eyebrows. The next thing that I'm going to move on to is my eyes. The palette that I'm going to, to use today is Morphe. Um, I will put the link below. You can buy it on eBay. I think that's where I 
The colour that I am going to use is this one right here. I'm going to place with this one, I'm going to place this under my eyebrow to give me a little bit of a highlight because we need that highlight in there. Next I'm going to take this little brush here and I'm going to again use this colour just to use as a base because I don't have any eye primer at the moment. So I need to put something there to get rid of the foundation creases. Next I'm going to take this little short brush. I don't know what the names are for these guys, I just bought them off eBay. So the colour that I'm going to use is this one right here because I'm going to use a lighter shade and then work in. So I'm just going to take this and blend in my eye socket. I'm then going to take the same colour and just apply underneath. I'm then going to take an angled brush and I'm going to go for a darker colour. I'm going to use this one right here and do the same again because we want to go from light to dark because it's autumn now. Can't believe it's autumn. Can't believe how quick the year has gone. Like this time last year, I was still a barmaid. Just a little bit of information there for you guys. Next, I'm going to take this brush right here. And I'm going to go for a lot more of a darker colour because this is too gorgeous. So I'm going to use these two right here. I'm going to give it a little bit of a blow because I don't want it to go everywhere. So I'm just going to put it right here. And work my way in. My dad's making a vegetarian curry downstairs and it smells so good. So what we want to do is blend the orange and the dark together because so we don't really want too much light on the eyes as obviously it's fall so it's more of the darker colours now mixed with the oranges. Okay so now I look like an orange raccoon but don't worry there's a little trick to all of this. I am then going to take the NYX eyeliner. I don't know, I know you can't see it very well, it's because I've used it that many times. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a line here, a line up and then reattach. Like so. Like that. And then I just go along here and attach it like that. Okay guys, so I have now finished the eyeliner. The next thing that I'm going to use is the Allure eyelashes, the wispy ones. I can't find the, I can't find the box to show you guys which ones it is, but I'm going to do my research. I'm then going to put the link down below so if you like the look of the eyelashes, you can then use them. So I have applied glue onto the eyelash and now I'm going to place this on my eye. So all you have to do is just wait for it to dry. Don't worry if you get a bit of glue on the eye eyelid where your eyeliner is. You can just go over the top of that and just erase it, which I will show you guys. So if you are like me and sometimes you get a bit of glue on your eye, like on your eyelid, all you do is you just go over the top with your eyeliner, and that is how I fix the eyeliner when there's sometimes glue on it. Now I have both eyelashes on, I am now going to apply the Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara. Now I'm just going to apply that on under my eyelash fake eyelashes and apply that to my real ones as well as my fake ones. So now I am applying mascara to the other eye. So, next we're going to be taking the Revolution uh, Medium to Dark Conceal Palette and I'm just going to start to contour under my cheekbones along my nose I don't particularly like my nose um, so that's sometimes why I contour 
I think everybody has something on their body that they don't like, but I don't think that I have the courage to actually go, go and get a nose job. Um, I don't know why I just don't. But. And then I go along my temple and into my forehead because I think I have a pretty big forehead. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm then going to take my beauty blender and just work my way in. Okay, so once I have done my contouring, I then take this fancy little brush, which I will also put the link down below. I then take number seven, like that, and I just go along my cheekbones like this, along my temple, along just a little bit on my nose. I don't go too much into contouring on my nose. Along my chin line, down my neck, and that's contouring done I then take revolution strobe highlighter and I take this little fancy brush and I just do this give it a little bit and then just go along my cheekbone as you can see the highlighter is amazing don't worry about my eye guys I'm gonna fix that I'm gonna show you how guys to do that along my lip along the tip of my nose and down like that. So as you can see along my eye, it's not exactly blended in. I take the original brush that I used before and all I do is I just take it out a little bit and I just start to blend in. You can see that highlight as well. Like this. I prefer to kind of take it quite a long way. I don't know what I think it el el elongates my eye. Makes my eyes look, makes my eyes look longer. I'm going to play dumb a little bit. So that's kind of what I do, and I just blend it out. You guys don't have to do this. This is just the kind of look that I like. I kind of like it when it's a bit long, a bit extra, a bit extreme. But yeah, that's the eyes done, that's the contouring done, and that's the highlighter done. I'm then gonna move on to my lip. The first thing that I like to do is I like to take an actual uh, makeup wipe, and I like to get all the excess foundation and contouring off my lip. Um, I don't. I just think it makes my lips feel a little bit softer when applying the lip liner. I also really like the colour that makeup removers bring out. I've tried to find this colour but I can't find it anywhere. If anyone sees this colour, give me a shout. Okay, so the next thing, I'm going to take the L'Oreal Paris pencil and I'm just going to apply that all over my lip. So I'm applying that to my top lip and then I'm going to take it underneath. I'm then going to take the exact same pencil and I'm going to colour in the lips because I couldn't really find a lipstick shape that I really really liked as much as this pencil so I'm just going to use that. Again you can use your own lipstick. I really shouldn't talk when I'm doing this. <laughs> So I'm then going to move over to my other side of the lip. So guys, that is the lips done. I quite like the colour because I think it goes with my eyes and it especially goes with the cold type of orange and autumn type of feel. The last thing that I am going to do is, I've, if you can see, the few little spots that I have, I'm going to kind of do a little trick, for me anyway, that helps, that, that sorts them out for me because I kind of do it the last thing, you know, in case if I need to blend anything else in. I go back to the Revolution Pro HD and all I do is I just tap on the concealer and I just hide them up a little bit more than what I did the first time. I don't use the whole the bake that a lot of people use. I get really dry skin, hence why my hands sometimes have eczema because I wash them a lot working with animals. Um, but I try not to bake which is my may look a bit like wet kind of look but that's the kind of look that I like you guys can pick something else you can bake if you want to you can put the powder on under your eyes and everything like that just for me maybe I just haven't found the right one yet but this one when I do put it on it just dries my under my eyes and then I have lines and all sorts and that kind of thing so sometimes I do just have to go back over the spots that mother nature seems to love giving me 
so guys that is the end of my autumn look i hope you guys like it i hope that you enjoy watching this video i hope that you if you're going along with me i hope it's turned out really really well for you guys you can head over to my instagram at terry e ellington and check out the look because i'll have uploaded the photos and there's some little freebies that i'm going to be giving away um don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you guys do like it um, leave a little comment what type of makeup you would like me to do next and things like that. The necklace is from Pretty Little Thing. I wore it in my last video and I thought that I would wear it again. Most of the products that I have used today will be in the link below. I hope you guys have a lovely, lovely weekend. Thank you for watching. Bye!